All right, so we got to show off uh, how to set up this machine here. This is the Lincoln Electric Invertec B350 Pro. Um, I've got a couple of different styles of these, and I don't know when they changed, when they made the, the difference here, but uh, this one's got a digital readout that we're going to look at so you know exactly what you're looking for when you get this set up here in our shop. So um, <clears throat> first thing you want to see is whether or not you've got the right leads plugged in. Uh, there's two um, outlets that will take a, the ground lead and wherever you want that power source to send um, power to make sure you can weld. So first one we're going to make sure that our ground lead, which is actually mounted directly to our booths, um, it's right down here bolted right on and that cord comes up and is plugged into the, um, the port that has the little negative symbol next to it over there in the corner. Uh, you should always the camera fell down. Sorry. I guess that's what I get for using suction cups on these welding booths. Anyway, let's see if we can make it work again. Where should we put it? Right there. Okay, here. We're back in. Good. All right. <clears throat> so, okay, if we know the ground is plugged in to our little negative um, port there, then we're in good shape. Then we want to see that our the rest of our stuff is plugged into the positive side that's, that's shown right here. So, in this case, we've got it plugged into this cord, which wraps around the bottom of the machine. Okay, it comes all the way underneath, follows under, all the way to the back, it comes up to our wire feeder so that we can run our GMAW torch, okay, or our gun, whichever you want to call it, and that'll work good. So it's set up that way. If they're plugged in this way, now we got to look at our digital readout to show that it's set up in order to run that type of welding system or welding process. So now that we're to that point, we can turn the machine on and uh, wait for the electronics to, to do their checks, make sure everything is where it's supposed to be. Amps are read out here, bolts are read out on this side, and then we've got a couple of things read out down here, like I said, that we're gonna look at. For now, right here, it is set up correctly. Now it says CV MIG GMAW with standard CV over here. That's what we want it to be set at. Uh, if it was not in the right place, we can turn this knob for instance, I'll show you how to set it up to, to go to SMAW if we're going to be welding with stick electrodes. Okay, So we've tw turned that enough that we get to stick SMAW. Uh, everything else is good. Our amps are reading out, our volts are reading out, and uh, we can leave it right there to, to run a stick process. Uh, however, knowing that, we're going to need to unplug this. line up the, the nubs with the slots, and they come out of there, and then we're going to plug in our SMAW electrode holder. Okay, the same, same plug goes in there, twists in, and now you can run your stick uh, welding process, so we should be in good shape there. And if you want to switch it back to, to MIG, GMAW, Coil that one back up, <clears throat> hang it back on the wall, and you can get your GMAW lead, plug it back in, run this right back around, and it should go. So there was TIG, gouge, CV MIG, GMAW with standard CV over here on this side. And that's what we want to set it for for running our GMAW process. There's lots of other processes that run on this machine, but those are the two that we're gonna see here in our shop at Weaver High. So set it up that way. Should be pretty simple. Good luck.